I'm Dr. Rauni Lena Luukanen Kilde from Finland, but I live in Norway. Actually, I've lived in 10 countries or worked in 10 countries. I'm a medical doctor and I was even shortly acting Surgeon General of Finland. But uh, I worked with tropical medicine and general practice and, uh, and health administration. I have three specialities. Now I'm retired, of course, I'm 75 already. And I'm also an international bestseller author with six languages, but my first book in English is coming out hopefully before Christmas, Bright Light on Black Shadows. And uh, Finland's best clairvoyant, I asked, is it going to be okay? Because a German publisher refused it. It was too heavy, you know, it was too dangerous. So she said, I see a book that's growing, growing, growing. It has golden covers and, and silver sides. That sounds very good. I said, great. And that includes 22 articles, among others, of course, radiation and TEIs and, and mind control and, and the methods of secret services, how they harass civilian population, which the population knows nothing about. Because they've been doing it for decades and people just die off. They use, uh, as we know, they use food as a weapon. Monsanto, you know, gene-modified foods, which are forbidden in Russia. I think that's one good thing about Russia, they forbid that. And then they use weather as a weapon. You know, they have hurricanes and, and, and Fukushima, the biggest catastrophe in the history of mankind. And it's suppressed, 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 you know, nothing, nothing, nothing. And, and it, it has a tremendous effect. Infant mortality went up in California in, in 11 weeks immediately. Even in, in Vancouver, even in, in Pennsylvania, you know, it spreads with the winds. And nothing is told to, to the public because all the big news today, and this is important, put it upside down. Put it upside down when they say, like they say, war is peace and peacekeeping is war. Everything put upside down, so then you know the truth. And people are being deceived by the mass media, by, by the newspapers, uh, radio, whatever. Especially about our cosmic contacts. Or do you think that actually uh, we are flying, when I say we, uh, I mean human beings on planet Earth. We are flying constantly to the moon, to Mars, to Saturn. That's for sure, because I've talked to people even who have been. I've talked to a man who's been to, to the moon, for instance. And, and we're never told this. White House says we have no evidence of any contacts in cosmos, and we have no evidence of extraterrestrial life on planet Earth. And what happens in, in, um, in Russia, we had a, an interview in paranormalibloggy.net. It's the biggest alternative net, uh, net uh, web in, in Finland, um, over 300,000, no, not 300, 30,000, or th something hits every month. It was 300, I think. Anyway, it's the biggest one. And there is, is the Prime Minister of Russia, Medev's, um, you know, uh, interview in Russian with Finnish subtitles. And he says when the president becomes a president in Russia, like Putin now, he gets two attaché cases. One is the code for atom bombs, and the other one is knowledge about extraterrestrial life in the universe and here. And White House says nothing. So for once, Russia gives good information. RT was supposed to come here, we, we tried. And um, Daniel Estulin is, is an RT, Russian TV uh, journalist. He resigned because they said no to this conference. That's something. So uh, you get information mostly in conferences. You meet people. You know, I met in Moscow, I met cosmonauts. General Popovich opened it. Dr. Asharsa was, was the chairman, and I didn't know at that time that he was chief of, of, of uh, Navy intelligence in, in, in Russia. That was in, in the beginning of the 90s. So people like that, you meet at the conference, you talk, and you find out. So I would say to anybody, go to international conferences or national conferences, you get information which you do not normally read in the newspapers. So that would be advice, absolutely, if you want to know what's going on in the world. I don't know if this is in Polish TV or is, is it in, in, in secret service <laughs> TV or whatever. But anyway, again, 
whoever sees it gets a little bit of information which they probably didn't have before. And I arranged um, uh, a big conference in, in 1996 in Finland, financed it myself because I got so pissed off with everybody. I said, fine, I don't have a car, so I'll put the money into, into a conference, UFO conference, and I got the best names, like uh, Professor John Mack, yes. who is deceased, and, and I suspect that uh, he was run over deliberately after a conference, mind you. And, and others, Leo Sprinkle, professor in, at the University of Wyoming, who has arranged UFO conferences for decades, etc. And uh, because the social and health minister of Finland at that time um, was a friend of mine, because uh, she was a young doctor when I was a senior doctor, so she was working for me. And I said, now you are the minister, and I am a doctor, but come and open it. And she said, fine, let me, you know, give me the details. So I wrote a long sort of opening address. And the conference was starting on, on Saturday at 9, and Friday night, the, the a male secretary called me and she's cancelled. What? So I opened the conference, but because she cancelled and the word had gotten out that the minister is opening a UFO conference, I mean, that's worldwide news. So the conference got so much publicity that every single newspaper and TV and radio station was was talking about it. And probably it was the prime minister who, you know, a Bilderberger who said no. But it's good he said no, because then, then the publicity got, you know, through the whole Finland. So that way you get information about cosmic contacts. Think that we, we fly to the moon all the time. They have uh, mining, mining uh, activities there. I got some pictures in years ago uh, about, about the moon. Beautiful, you know, uh, landscape, green uh, lakes, whatever, in a, in a normal UFO conference. You know, you can buy them there. Well, of course, when I came to Finland, I started, you know, distributing these pictures. Secret Service or somebody just took them. They vanished. They use dematerialization. The technology that is available today is, is fantasy. There was a CIA agent who was dying, and he said to his son that this you cannot talk until I and, and mother are dead. So now they're both deceased, so he went uh, to YouTube and, and, and stated that father said that CIA has a technology which is from 100 to 300 years more advanced than academic research. 300 years more advanced? We can't even imagine. I mean, come on, 100, 150 years ago, we didn't have electricity, we didn't have cars, we didn't have airplanes, we didn't have anything. 300 years more advanced. Of course we can't understand it. So dematerializations and materializations, which they harass people with, you know, you have something in your hand that, hey, where did it go? I was lecturing in Newcastle many, many years ago, and I took my watch so that I could keep the time, and I put it there, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the lecture, well, I just looked, did it drop? No, it was just gone for good. So at the airport, I bought a cheap watch just to <laughs> follow the time. I went home to Oslo, I live in Oslo. At that time I lived, now I'm outside of Oslo. And um, I, I just thought this was very strange. Three days passed, and number three is a code for secret service criminality, one of the codes. Three days passed and I was I was, uh, you know, uh, cleaning up the, the, the room. My husband was was uh, uh, smoking 40 cigarettes a day, and while I was in Finland, uh, I was leading the anti-smoking campaign. So I said, "Would you please stop at least for the ca campaign?" And all of a sudden, hey, what happened? The clock, which disappeared in Newcastle while I was I was talking, whoosh, was materialized into the ash tray. Materialized. And I thought, gee, maybe it came through dimensions, so maybe it's hot, so I sort of, <laughs> I'll try that I don't burn my fingers. No, it was ice cold, but it was still having British time. And it was next to our wedding picture. And I had no idea that in a couple of months we, we were separated. So, you know, they know your future, and they sort of <laughs> give codes what's going to happen. And of course, this is incredible, but it's just materialization, dematerialization, today's technology which is fantasy. But when people don't know it, you know, and then psychiatrists, you know, oh, that lot. 
I mean, they come and say, you know, oh, oh yeah, you're being followed. Right, you're being followed. Okay, you're paranoid, you know. Come on, everything that secret services do to, to civilians is put into the diagnostic statistical manual for mental disorders as sign of, of, of schizophrenia or paranoia or whatever. Even, can you imagine, if you oppose the government, read, Diagnostic Statistical Manual for Mental Disor Disorders number 5, the, it came a year ago. If you oppose the government, you're mentally, you know, disturbed. Come on, if you're a boy and you play with dolls when you're a baby, ah, uh ah, -uh, sexually disturbed. Or vice versa, if you're a girl and play with, with boys' toys. I mean, anything which is normal is put into, you know, abnormality so that they can control everybody. They, they took a, a diplomat in Norway, she wrote a book about all kinds of atrocities, which was true. One day the police just comes and puts her into handcuffs and takes her to the asylum and there they gave her injections and she never became normal again. So this is what, what, what we're up to. So what can we do? Use your mind, your mind, 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 we're energy bodies. Our energy body is full. Every, every cell vibrates. Every single cell, even if it looks solid, but it's not solid. 70% of, of our body is water, 87% our brain is water. So what holds it together? Energy. And Einstein even said energy never, never disappears. It just changes form. So we can get out of our physical body with the energy body. And Americans use it for spionage and, 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 um, and space travel. It's easier to send you to another planet with your astral body, energy body, than take a rocket, you know, which may explode like they do. And what is very, very important to find out about the energy body, it is a copy of your physical body without handicaps. So if you have an amputated arm, you still feel that the fingers hurt. You don't have fingers anymore. That is the energy body that has the feelings. Energy body has all emotions. Energy body has all your intelligence. And that is proof that you know you have sort of a phantom effect, known in medicine. And what is more important is that energy body does not have sexual organs. It doesn't have inner organs either. It's like a light body vibrating. But it does not have sexual organs. They are, of course, in the physical. We need it for reproduction and sexual pleasure. But we are all, in a way, neutral or androgyne. And that explains, uh, for instance, uh, when, when some people say that, oh, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a woman, but, but I'm in a, in a male body or something. I want a sex change. So in a previous existence, they probably have been very, very many times in that female body. And then they jump into the male body, and they have trouble. I mean, you know, they, they have psychological trouble. They want back to the feelings of the, of the previous existence. And of course, also homosexuality can be explained because 10% of people in hypnotic regressions, which I've done previously, I'm retired now, but um, they, they say that, that they, uh, they have uh, had a sex change. 10% and 10% about, including their, 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 how would I say, the hidden homosexuals, it's about 10% of the population. So it's very important for people to understand that it's okay, you're whatever you are, you are an energy. And that is what is most important. Not your physical appearance, not if you're black or white or yellow or brown or whatever, that's not important. It's the energy. And you see that in the eyes. You just focus on the eyes, you immediately connect because the energy comes from, from your eyes, through you. So I think that's very important to find out, isn't it? Yes.